The political battleground is growing. Travelling across the country, you find voters have more choices and are readier to exercise them. The parties are scrapping street by street, constituency by constituency, for that handful of votes that might get them over the line. And Watford is a proper nail-biter. Tories, Labour and Lib Dems all within spitting distance of victory. So what do the candidates think might make the difference? First, the Tory MP. Well, the Trump card locally, as in nationally, is certainly the economy. The Lib Dem mayor. They know the quality of leadership that I provide. They'll either love it or hate it. Um, but I think they know that I would be a champion for the town. And Labour councillor. When I'm speaking to people on the doorstep, they're very worried about the ongoing rise of energy bills. Labour has promised that we will freeze energy bills and reform the market. It is a political feast, a banquet that the voters of Watford find themselves confronted with. But when it comes to Westminster politics, many people have lost their appetite. The British electorate in 2015 are fed up and disenchanted. And many people in Watford, as elsewhere, will vote not because they're particularly inspired by their choice, but because they really don't fancy the other options on offer. In that spirit, the candidates have to be ready to knock chunks off one another. This is how they'll stick it to the Lib Dems. At the end of the day, they are a party that will not be in Downing Street. They will not be controlling the government. I think they're a toxic brand. I mean, they fought the 2010 election on a manifesto to the left of the Labour Party and then leapt into bed with the most right-wing Tory government in history. This, the attack the Tories must be steeled for. The Conservatives very much are uh, the party of business, of vested interest. What do you think is the Conservatives' Achilles heel? I think, again, the cost of living crisis. And Labour? They've picked a candidate that people don't know yet. Um, nice chap, but people don't know him. Well, what do you think is Labour's Achilles heel? Ed Miliband. Ouch. This race may come down to who's last man or woman standing. And no party will shy away from negative campaigning in the margins if it helps propel them to power here.